there from Sutton Coalfield, been in a civil partnership for just over five years. Hello, Natalie. Hiya. Hiya. Uh, Natalie, uh, you know, when Lord Carey draws these um, parallels with Jews and their persecution by the Nazis to people like him who were opposed to gay marriage, what do you think of that? I just think that um, uh, by, by mentioning things like that, he's just making it a derogatory term to start with. I mean, you know, we, 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 we as gay, gay couples are entitled to the same as everybody else. And um, by them not allowing this, they're discriminating against us. This is our human rights to be able to, you know, say we want a marriage and we're having a marriage, you know. You can't expect us to, gay people of, of, as a whole, to pay into the system and not be entitled to everything that everybody else is entitled to. And Whittacombe said that if you are gay or lesbian and you get married, then you're getting no extra rights than you already have at the moment through a civil partnership. But by the, the fact that of marriage being legalised, other people, uh, those who oppose gay marriage, will actually lose rights. Do you, do you understand where she's coming from when she says that? Well, I mean, you know, by, by allowing this gay marriage, then at least we're being seen as equal uh, in society. You know, we're getting married like everybody else is getting married. Um, legally, you know, we'll have the same rights. Although she says, oh, you're not going to get any different. Simple things like name changing. You know, if, if you have a civil partnership, then you have to pay for, for your name to be changed um, after, the, after the civil partnership by Depol. It's not automatically done like it would be in marriage. Um, and I just think that... You know, you're showing commitment to each other by a marriage, whereas a civil partnership, um, you know, yeah, you can run it like a marriage, but it's not a marriage. You know, you can have the whole event, which me and Ash did back six years ago now, so... Stay there, Natalie. We're going to go to our travel. I wouldn't mind chatting with you a little bit more. It's Natalie in Sutton Coalfield. Asking the question this morning, are people who oppose gay marriage in danger of being persecuted? Are they shouted down with cries of bigot? Or if you oppose gay marriage, are you a bigot? 08453 009956 on the phones. Dean Texas.